Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. Nice view of the, the game room behind me. Um, I'm in here because I need to be away from the cats. I need some, not really peace and quiet, I just need a nice place to work where the cats aren't going to be in my workspace. What am I doing today? Today I'm going to be installing Mavericks, which is the new uh, operating system uh, from Apple. Um, the problem is I can't install it on the Hackintoshes because there's a chance things might not work. Those are the work computers. Those are what I use to make sure everything is going smoothly. Um, if something messed up, then videos would be delayed until I fixed it, which could be anywhere from a day to a week, and that would be bad. So we're going to stick with Mountain Lion on them for now. Um, of the two laptops that we have, which is a, uh, this is a mid-2007 MacBook and a mid-2009 MacBook Pro, only this one can upgrade to Mavericks. This one is going to be stuck. I'm pretty sure the, the, the furthest it can go is Snow Leopard, which is currently on it. But the problem is that the larger hard drive of the two is in the MacBook. I'd rather have that larger hard drive in the MacBook Pro. So this is actually going to become like the new travel computer. I can install Mavericks on it, and I can also install Final Cut Pro 10, which is nice because I should be able to get some editing done when we go um, on vacations and, and things like that. So I'm hoping to get all this done before Christmas whenever we go to Wisconsin. I'm hoping to get it all done now. But uh, even though getting the hard drive out of this is dirt easy, like you just turn this and like there's a screw or something you have to get rid of and then you pull it out and you're good to go, the MacBook Pro is a little more difficult. I've never actually opened one of these, but I've got a, uh, a tool here, a little screwdriver that should be able to open this. So uh, <laughs> let's jump in and give it a shot. All right, so I just took all the screws out and uh, I put them over here in the exact same order. But for the record, these three screws are different. They're really long. All the other ones are the exact same screws, so this should be able to pop off now. This should just come right off. There we go. And um, from what I understand, it's pretty simple what we need to do, because there's the hard drive, so we just got to swap that out into this one. It's a piece of cake. Um, but I did read that what you, what you should do whenever you're doing this is to take out the battery. Apparently, um, the, the best practice is to remove the battery before you switch out any kind of electronic just because it's safer. Am I going to do that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, um, apparently it's actually a pretty huge pain to remove the battery um, in, in these MacBooks, so it's a lot easier just to remove the, uh, the hard drive. I'm going to take a look at what I need to do. I am following a guide. And um, if anyone's wondering why bother, you know, because you might be saying, well, why don't you just in, why even worry about Mavericks? Um, it's just because moving into the future, this computer is more powerful than this computer. And if I am going to try and do some editing somewhere, why not use the stronger computer? And if I'm going to do that, I need the bigger hard drive. So that's why I'm doing this. For now, um, let's worry about getting that, uh, that hard drive out. I elected not to take the battery out. I'm just going to worry about the, uh, the hard drive. So I removed these two little screws, and this thing should pull... Uh, right out. Actually, I just looked at the guide again and realized that um, I was looking at it the wrong way. Um, I needed to remove <laughs> the screws that were up here, not the screws down here. So I put these back. Um, these, when you unscrew them, uh, have this little plate that holds down the hard drive. So now this thing should come out. Yeah, yeah, it just falls out whenever that thing's gone. So now we just need to remove that cable and we'll be good to go. That cable just pulls out and then the hard drive is free. Ta-da! And there's the hard drive. That's a 160 gig hard drive. The one we're gonna be putting in here is a 250, so, um, you know, even if you're doing a little bit of video editing, it's nice to have that extra, um, you know, that extra space to, to store files. So, now we just have to open up the white one, get the hard drive out, and swap them. So in order to open up a um, old MacBook, you need a dime. I turned that key, and now this is the battery, which pops out very easily, like so. Batteries were huge, right? Well, I guess they're, they're, they're the same size. I think, yeah, they are the same size. There's only two years difference between these two computers. The batteries nowadays are smaller, and they actually store more. The charge on this MacBook is, like, abysmal. Nowadays, MacBooks have a battery life of what? Like, 10 hours, 11 hours? The battery life on this is like three. <laughs> I 
so not too good. Anyway, so now that we have this over open, um, the hard drive is right here, and if I remember correctly, in order to get to this, we need to take out these three screws, and then there's something that we pull, and like it comes out really easily or something. I don't know. I'm sure I'll figure it out. And yes, this was actually just as easy as I remembered. You uh, loosen these three screws, they actually stay in there, which is really nice, and that comes right out. Now the hard drive is in there. All we need to do is get a hold of this paper somehow. If I can grab it. There we go. And we should just be able to give this a little tug. There we go. Kind of give it a little slidey slide there. All right, and that is that. And the connectors for this thing are built into the MacBook on this end. So when you're done, you just slide it and push it in and it plugs it in automatically for you. It was really nice back in the day because you could repair your own stuff. I mean, the way Apple has its has everything done nowadays, you can't. Um, you can usually get to you know maybe the RAM, but even now on like the the new MacBooks, I don't even know how easy that is. Um, if you wanted to change the memory, by the way, that's uh, right, right here. That's these little things. One day this little thing should get an upgrade, or maybe this thing. I don't know. I, I actually don't know what we're gonna do with this now. Um, you know what? I've always wanted my parents to have a Mac, and uh, if this is going to be the official laptop that Mal and I share and that I use for projects whenever we're on the road, maybe I could turn this little MacBook into my parents' computer. I don't know. Just food for thought. But something I should actually think about. I've suddenly changed clothes, and it is now the next day because, uh, a very <laughs> this is very stupid, but to get the hard drive out of this little tray, um, I had to get rid of these screws which are torque screws and this was at my parents house so now it's the next day but now i have that and i was able to take that out um now it's a pretty simple operation basically everything you've seen up to this point just gets reversed we're just going to put this in here and uh this little tab thing is actually just stuck on with you know sticky paper i'm gonna try to put that on there and try to make sure i i match everything up but uh in just a second everything goes back the way it was and hopefully it will work all right, so I got the computers put back together. Um, it was pretty easy, except for the fact that the uh, hard drive enclosure on the original MacBook took a T9 Torx, and the one on the MacBook Pro took a T6. I didn't have a T6, so I had to go buy one. But uh, no matter, we got everything back together, so there's the Mac which is a piece of cake and the MacBook Pro which is a little slightly more difficult but still manageable. Now I got it uh, hooked up. This is a uh, 8 gig um, jump drive that I have put a Mavericks installer on. Um, if you download the Mavericks installer, which you can get for free as long as you have access to the, uh, the App Store, um, download that and then I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, there's a terminal command that you can use that will actually make a bootable installer. So now all we should have to do is turn on the computer and hold Option, and um, it should, if everything goes according to plan, uh, boot up the installer for uh, Mavericks. Okay, there we go. So Lapintosh, which is actually the, um, you know, the, the drive that we had in that computer, I don't even know what booting that up would do right now because the hardware is different, so I don't know how it would react, but probably not well. Uh, but what we want to do is load up install OS 10 Mavericks. Eventually you're gonna to get to this screen. I've never installed Mavericks, but I've installed um, so Change many. English for the main language. Oh my Press God. The return key. It can talk now. Um, but I've installed Tiger, Leopard, Snow Leopard, Lion, and Mountain Lion. Dear God already. Um, so I'm sure that uh, Mavericks is also easy. The first thing we're gonna do, um, I'm used to going up here to utilities and doing disk utility, but apparently now it's right here. So let's do disk uh, utility. And um, we are going to be um, erasing the disk, which is the Lapintosh disk. So we're just gonna partition that um, as one partition. Uh, make sure that it is GUID down there. That means it can be used as a startup disk for the Mac. Mac OS Extended Journaled, um, and then whatever we want it to be named. Um, normally, um, Macintosh hard drives are defaultly named Macintosh HD, 
So that's what I'm going to go with, Macintosh HD. And then we'll go ahead and hit Apply, Partition. It'll take a second to uh, partition that, and it's done. Okay, uh, as soon as that's done, we will close this and um, install OS X. And now I'll just follow the on-screen stuff, and uh, hopefully it'll finish up in, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. Done! I now have a Mavericks MacBook Pro from mid-2009, so it's pretty old. But we have Mavericks in the house, which is nice. It's a shame that I actually won't be using it regularly, but uh, anytime I get a chance to update the OS, might as well. There wasn't very, many stu uh, very much stuff we had to save on this computer, so I took care of it. Also, um, I decided I did want to give my old MacBook to my parents to use as a primary computer. Uh, so I'm installing Snow Leopard. Um, you can install Mavericks on it. I looked it up and you can't install Mountain Lion on it either. The only, the latest one I could install was Lion. I don't have Lion. <laughs> um, I actually skipped that one. Earlier when I was listing stuff off, I don't have Lion. That's the one I skipped. Um, I've had Tiger, I've had Leopard, um, Snow Leopard, and then I skipped Lion and went straight to Mountain Lion. Hackintosh stuff because I didn't want to bother trying to, to uninstall and reinstall and with all that stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, Mavericks. Um, you know, like I said, I probably won't get a chance to, to play around with it until this Christmas, whenever I'm using it, um, you know, while we're on vacation. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some programs on here to the need. going to install um, Final Cut Pro 10 on here, uh, and then I'll be able to get everything set up so I can edit um, this Christmas, which is exciting. Um, if you've already used Mavericks, if you're using it now, uh, talk about it. I guess that's what we'll make today about, unless you've also done, you know, some Mac hardware stuff. You could talk about that if things went good or bad. Um, but I need to end this vlog now because it is the next day. <laughs> so we'll talk about installing Snow Leopard and giving it to my parents and stuff um, in the next vlog. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, which is today, shall we? It's actually really funny, um, but he just released episode three. He's been working on it for a long time. Um, go watch that. There's a link on the screen. There's a link in the description. What are you looking at? Oh, God. I'm a little more than freaked out right now.